Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. So today we're going to be doing your September love prediction. This is a pick a card. So we have four groups here. Please choose your group from the timestamp down below. We have group number one, group two, group three, and group four. So please choose your group and let's get started. So I'm going to put some crystal cards on the, on the groups as well. So let's put that on now. All right, so for the first group, we have Rhodochrosite. Group number two, Citrine. Group number three, Malachite. And group number four, Aquamarine. So please choose your group and let's get started in your reading. So starting off with group number one with Rhodochrosite. Hello, group number one. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what's going on for you guys within your love life within the month of September. So let's get started with the first card. The first card we have out is Rhodochrosite, Remember Your Worth. So this is all about your heart chakra. This is remembering your worth in terms of your self-worth. So this is self-love, it's setting boundaries, it's really being, just being really kind to yourself and being really gentle to yourself and just being really, really nice to yourself and taking just slow steps towards your goal. And this is really interesting because Rhodochrosite is a love crystal. I associate it as a love crystal. So the fact that this has come out in a love reading is really showing that you guys are really focusing within that kind of area. Okay, so we're gonna actually put this little guy over here because I feel like I wanna do the main message in the middle. So the first message is the transformation. And there we go. So we have things are changing at a cellular level, deep healing. So I absolutely love this card. It's so beautiful. And the fact that we have transformation is really showing me for you guys, well, you're transforming basically. So things that you may like or may you have used to like are not really something that you like anymore. You might also be interested in Egyptian kind of times because we have some really lovely kind of like Egyptian goddess kind of beautiful energy here. And we also have this upward triangle as well. And I don't know if these are in every card, I think they might be, but I'm really focusing on it in this card particularly. And it kind of reminds me of the masculine. It reminds me of the element of air. And I know air normally has like a line through it, but I really, actually it could more be about fire actually. So it's kind of like the elements and you connecting to your element as whatever zodiac sign you are, really connecting with that and really feeling empowered with that and not being judgmental on, okay, I'm too emotional, I'm too this and too that, I can't do this, I can't do that because I'm too emotional. You know, if there's something that you want to do, just friggin' do it because you, you are this beautiful goddess and you're really transforming into that beautiful goddess, into your full potential. So really being aware that this is who you are and learning that this is everything. And you don't have to be anyone else, just be exactly who you are and keep working on yourself, guys. Remember your worth, know that you do have worth and know that you do have value, okay? So let's have a look at the other cards. So we have the sea turtle conservation, make conscious choices, there we go. So you guys could be really, I feel like conserving your body as well, like really being conscious of who you're connecting with on an emotional and physical level, but also being conscious about what you're eating, what you're putting in your body, and also being be conscious of what you're taking in the media wise, guys. Like I'm gonna say the news is very corrupt, so I'm just gonna put that out there. You guys can hate me if you want, but it is, it's very corrupt. It's there to control, it's there to manipulate. And that's okay if you guys don't want to agree with it, that's totally, totally fine. Um, but I feel like there's definitely energy of looking at that and not believing it. And also if you do watch it, just be really, really kind to yourself. And if you start to feel anxious, just pull away from it. And that could be anything. This can be social media, like any type of app that you need to delete, just delete it off your phone at least for like a day or two or just turn off your phone, you know, just be very conscious of what you're doing because this is all gonna affect your energy and how you're transforming in your life. So this is gonna really affect what you're taking in and how you're interacting with these emotions that's coming up, okay? All right, so we have magic. Make a wish, believe in miracles, magic surrounds you. This is so beautiful, I love this. This is so, ma I just love this, this is so magical. I, f I forget how beautiful this deck is, so. The fact that we have magic surround you really shows me that you guys may be feeling quite negative about this kind of energy that's coming in. You maybe have been feeling like, oh, my life kind of sucks. Like everything's really bad. I feel like I can't be myself, you know, all those things. And just remember that miracles do happen. And there's that song. I don't know. I think I, think I heard it on Princess Diaries, that film Princess Diaries. I don't know if you see it, it's got Anne Hathaway in it and Julia Roberts. It's, a, it's such a good film. 
and the lyric goes miracles miracles happen once in a while when you believe and it's basically saying like just open your mind to know that things will change for you and not everything's going to be the same so september in your love life there's going to be a massive amount of like beautiful love energy coming in so prepare yourself because there is definitely somebody or something that wants to kind of grant you the wish that you want and if you are looking for a partner or if you're looking for some sort of like just more happiness in your love life this is going to shift and you're going to feel much more lighter everything's just going to feel like much more brighter and lighter okay so let's see what the other cards we have okay so we have the owl and we also have the moth is reversed no upright okay so two cards here absolutely beautiful massive amount of transformation i love the fact that we don't have a butterfly because the moth is so much deeper than that from from what i feel i feel like the butterfly comes after the moth and also i feel like the moth and butterfly are two types of transformations the moth i feel like is deep deep shadow transformation so you guys in your love life you've been really focusing on that the really deep stuff and it can be really hard sometimes to really be in that energy a lot of the time and as i said we do have the upward triangle of the air here so this is you breaking free and break away breaking away i'm getting that song from another song from princess diaries what is going on um that breakaway song uh by kelly clarkson which is so funny because i was literally listening to that today it's a really good song it's like such like a ballad you have to like really like blast in the speakers um, so the owl is showing me that you guys are really seeing some deeper stuff and you're coming out of that. So you're not staying in there. And the owl is very, very wise. So everything that you are cultivating, it's like you're just really coming out of this old energy and the new energy is just really firing up right now. OK, I'm going to have a look into these cards separately as well. Just have a little look and see what these two are about. So let me just grab my book here. And we're going to see what wants to come out for the owl and what does the owl represent. So the owl is air. So let's have a little looky. Let's see. All right. So the moth is impulsive, hasty, wishful. So when in balance, enthusiastic and whimsical. When out of balance, idealizes others, jittery, finish a project. So that is so funny because I feel like for you guys, this is this about remember your worth i feel like you guys are really idolizing other people and you're forgetting to idolize yourself you're forgetting about yourself like focus on yourself what is it that you can do not what you can't do like what can you do in this moment to fix whatever the issue is because if we focus on what we can't do it can really affect our mental health and it makes you feel like you're not doing enough and i feel like especially with make conscious choices this is about who you're interacting with what you're putting in your body and all those other things and i feel like especially with this turtle he always reminds me of food and what you're intaking because whenever you make conscious choices you're really having to overcome a pattern and that can be very hard especially with food because it can over it can overpower your body and this can be alcoholism as well it can be drugs you know it can be anything where you've really had to make a conscious choice and it's also making a conscious choice around other people because we do have remember your worth so if you're around somebody who's very toxic just being very generous with your energy and being like you know what this needs to stop just like putting your boundaries down um and i feel like with conservation is for me especially is I've gone on a couple of food diets and not diets as in like restricting my diet as in not eating enough to like lose weight. It's to clear up my body. Like I've been on paleo diets. I've been on candida free diets. It's like all those diets that kind of strip away and detox your life. I mean, paleo is pretty much what we should be living by anyway. It's like, it's fresh vegetables. It's all organic. It's good fats, all those sort of things, you know, no gluten or anything like that. And obviously, in my opinion, you know, eat whatever you want. <laughs> I really don't mind. Um, but the make conscious choices, it's like you have to be really conscious of what you're putting in your body. So every time your gut goes to go, I want that sugar, I want that, I want that bread, I want that, you know, whatever it is. It's like okay, you have to be like, no, nope, stop, boom, done. And then you have to like switch your energy. So it's being very conscious. That's the transforming. That's the transformation energy that's that's working. Okay. Also, the owl represents abundance, clairvoyant and treasures. When in balance, a generous, trusting and secure. When out of balance, money, quarrels and scarcity. To bring into balance an offering. So this is really beautiful. So really trusting your intuition, trusting your guidance and knowing that everything is on its way. All right. So that are the, those are the oracle cards. We're going to move these over here and we're going to do some tarot. So let's see what is coming for you guys within the month of September.
Oops. Okay, so we have the Four of Swords. So you guys are feeling very stuck. You're feeling very, very confined and you're learning to kind of come away from that. You're learning to just release that. And it does feel like I don't, it's like I don't want to move, but I want to move. It's like I'm scared of what's going, I'm scared of, I'm scared of what's forward in front of me because maybe it's not as good as what I've got already. That sort of thing, it feels like that. Okay, so we have the Four of Swords, Five of Swords. I might put these two up here actually, just so I can have a little bit more room here. So we have the Four of Swords, Five of Swords. Queen of Cups, yes, that is exactly what I'm talking about. That is the energy that we want. Oh, this card, okay. We have the Page of Wands, beautiful. My throat is really hurting. I feel like you guys are really speaking your truth. The page of wands is always speaking your truth. It's like speaking up for what you believe in, what makes you feel comfortable, all that jazz. And we have the death card poking out as well. So you guys could be Scorpios, but you're really in this Scorpionic energy. Yeah, there he is popping out, showing his little face. <laughs> right, so for you guys in your love life in September, massive amounts of change massive amounts of movement like you've got the chariot here so massive amounts of change and movement and transformation okay and you're seriously hitting up all the good energies all the good vibes and you could be hitting up some people like on instagram or whatever i never say you're hitting up so i think that's what you some of you guys are saying and then you have the moon so really big transformative energy so much emotions like you guys are going to be really connected to the moon in this month and there could be a specific moon or particular moon that really I'm hearing grabs your attention. No, just burps, so that is clarification. So the first of all, we had the Four of Swords or the Five of Swords. You're waiting, you're contemplating, you're like, okay, when is my manifestation coming like Chop Chop Universe? <laughs> like, and then there's this kind of calmness after this waiting. And it's different to waiting. It's like a difference between calm and waiting. It's kind of like, I feel satisfied. I feel like I've really overcome what it is I need to overcome. And you're really getting to that point. So with this page of wands, this is you actually making the moves and working on your creativity. So in terms of your love life, I do see it's more about you. I don't feel like there is a massive amount of people coming in in terms of like, if you're single, if you're in a relationship, I do see that you might be having a little bit of hermit mode away from your partner. If you are single, the six of wands is what's calling me the most. This is kind of what's showing me that there is someone coming in I do feel like this person's coming in after the death card. So, oh, I get it. Okay, thank you, universe. So I feel like you guys are really going through this transformation. After the transformation is when you're going to meet your person, okay? So you may feel like, okay, why is my love life so slow? But there is emotions that you're having to like work on each level, each step. And then once you get to the, the, all the steps, it's kind of like a quest. It's kind of like, what's the word, you know? I think the word initiation it's kind of like initiation you're kind of having to go all the different steps boom and then you're at the level where you can manifest your person and your person's going through the exact same thing as you so you both are going to meet each other on the same level and it's going to be really really beautiful really really fun and really calm as well like you're going to feel like you can really expand this month but I feel like for you guys, it is mainly about yourself. I feel like if you're going to meet somebody, it'll be more near the middle to the end of September. Okay. So let's see what else is coming towards you. What else is coming towards you? Let me get this deck here. All right. So let's see what else is coming for you. So this is going to be the astrology section. Let's see what's coming for you guys in your astrology. What kind of planets or anything like that are really affecting you this month? Ooh, Aries, massive amount of sex drive here. <laughs> so if you guys are an Aries, that's extra clarification. Okay, do you want all of these? They're saying all of them, okay. So first card, Gemini, beautiful. So you guys are really working with the masculine and the feminine, bringing those two together. I love, I love. So Aries or a Gemini, you could also be. We have Saturn, really big changes. This is like, this is like the moody grandpa. I think this is gonna be the moody grandpa card. That's kind of what I'm gonna call it. I feel like Saturn is like a moody grandpa because it's kind of like, you know, the granddad normally in the family kind of 
sorts out everyone, sorts out all the kids when they're kind of like running around and those kids are all the other planets <laughs> or the kids on the earth. <laughs> so it's kind of like we're being sorted out by this grandpa man here. And I feel like he's basically saying like, this is gonna take some time, but it's gonna be worth it. He's like the wise old grandpa, <laughs> all right? So the next card we have is the full moon, beautiful. So we are gonna have a full moon soon. I can't remember when it is. I think it might be in Pisces, but I'm not sure. I get the full moon and new moon confused. I know they're completely different, but I, for some reason I get them confused. So, and we do have the moon here as well. So I feel like this is gonna be a, a time frame as to when you can something could change for you, okay? So massive manifestation on that day. So if you wanna do any manifestation techniques, that'd be a good day to do it. And we also have first quarter. This is after you, after the full moon, okay? So this is gonna be when you start to see your manifestations coming in and things start to occur. This could also be halfway through as well. That's what they're telling, that's what they're telling me. So it's obviously, this is a general reading, guys. So it's gonna resonate for you guys all differently. Um, but if you guys like this reading, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe if you would like to. And if you would like a private reading, all my information is down below. And thank you so much for being patient with me. I'm going for a transformative time too. So thank you very much for being patient with me on this channel. I love you guys so much. And thank you so much for being here and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number two. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So we have the gorgeous citrine. I love, 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 love this crystal, especially on this card. Isn't that just so pretty? So this is bringing in the light. So this can mean various different things and I'm getting like six different messages. So let's get that started. This so first message is that your energy, your physical body is turning more into a light body, okay? So this means that you're having to release all of your negative energies around you, like subconscious energies, anything that's holding you back is being released, okay? Another message. Um, bringing in happiness towards your life is gonna fulfill you so much better than concentrating on the negatives. And how you can do this is to do things that you possibly have never done before, even if it's really small. Um, I'm hearing purchasing something that will make a big difference to you, whether it's like, it, okay, they're showing me something really random, they're showing me a belt, and it's kind of like you've been pulling your trousers up all month long, and you're like, okay, I just why won't these trousers stay up? And it's like, oh, I can't really afford to buy a belt, or something like that. And then you think, oh, you know, maybe I'll do it. And then you do it and then it's like makes a whole lot of difference to your mood, to your fashion sense, I don't know. <laughs> makes you want to change up your fashion. You know, it can be like something so small and it is astronomically life-changing, okay? So we also have, with bringing the light, bringing more light to yourself, releasing toxic people, releasing toxic energies and just really not concentrating on other people's past, like really being yourself. And this is pointing the way, I feel. And I'm not concentrating on the past, that's what I'm feeling. So that is, wow, a lot of energy in that um, in that card. So that's really beautiful. So let's put her down here. All right, so first card out we have is Imrana, Im, Imrama. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, where are you being called to journey to? So this is very much like bringing the light. It's kind of like, where do you want to go? and how are you gonna get there? And I feel like this is very, this is a very spiritual card. I mean, these cards are very spiritual anyway. This one in particular, I feel like is very spiritual and I feel like it's spiritual because she, I feel like is wanting to cross this path. And this path can be like the human journey, going from um, the un unwoke self to the awakened self. I feel like this is almost like the unwoke self and this, when you cross it, it's gonna be the woke self. So I feel like for you guys, you guys are really waking up to some things and it could be really uncomfortable in this month, but at the end of the day, it's really gonna bring you to where you need to go. So it's all worth it. And you guys could be changing up your house. You could be uh, knocking down some walls, literally emotionally, or literally like knocking down some walls in your house to make way for new. Um, I feel like also in terms of your love life, you're journeying to a new place. So your mindset is gonna be a lot different this month. You guys are really changing out your mindsets to your love life and you're building new structures. So the way your love life is, the way you see um, people you're attracted to, whether it be the opposite sex, same sex, whoever they are, you're, you're learning to see it in a more healthy way. And not to say it was unhealthy before, but I feel like 
you're just starting to have more patience with your love life I feel I feel like you're just kind of like having more of a separation between you and your love life and it's much more healthier it's much more easier for you to not feel so attached to the end goal and just be like you know what just gonna do whatever comes towards me and where are you being called to journey to is also showing me there is definitely options for you and you have you do have choices okay you do have choices and you can you can use those choices for your benefit okay so if you feel like you're stuck just remember you do have choices okay and even if they're tiny ones you do have choices and use them all right so next card out grounding you guys are probably feeling a little bit airy fairy right now and feeling a little bit up in the ethers so really learn to ground yourself getting out in nature if you can and being around nature and meditation is going to serve you so well guys like I feel like doing a heart not heart opening meditation like an attracting love meditation I feel like something like that would be really good for you because I feel like you're okay I'm seeing like a a cord and it's like a wire so like this would it's showing me a wire attaching straight into a plug socket but at the moment it's kind of flapping around so it, it can't really connect to anything so I feel like for you guys you're starting to you're starting to weave in and find where you need to connect to, but you do feel a little bit untethered, you know, and feeling a little bit ungrounded. So when you get grounded and when you find the meditation or whatever suits you, what makes you feel grounded, when you find that, you're going to feel so much more connected to spirit and to also to yourself, and it's going to feel much more easier for you in your love life. Ooh, I love this. I love this so much. All right, so we have prosperity. A gift of money is on its way. Your income is increasing. Manage your finances with love. So your love life could be very much to do with your prosperity and your finances. So this is to do with self-love. Self-love is always to do with money. So if you have a lack of self-love, your money can be lacking. Not always, but sometimes. And for you guys, you may meet somebody to do with career. Um, and you also may meet somebody to do with money. So it's kind of like, or for some of you guys, sorry, I'm getting so many messages. Okay, one of the messages, I need to slow down. <laughs> one of the messages is that if you are if you have a long distance relationship you could be getting the money to um to afford to travel to this person and somebody could be sending you money you could be getting money just generally and this could be nothing to do with your love life but it could start there you know so it kind of it could be like you're buying i don't know a certain app and then that means that you can like meet that person on the app but you couldn't have that app without that money you know so it's kind of like one thing leads to another thing and you, pro and you probably think how does that res how does that relate but just they're just saying just wait and see like things connect connecting the dots things will connect okay so last oracle card is the crow yes queen okay so this is all about your spirituality this is definitely my legs just did a little tingle tingle this is where you're being called to okay so this as i said very 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 spiritual this is all about your this is all about air this is all about communication this is intuitive communication so the universe is going to start giving you downloads about your love life this month and it's probably going to be really hard hitting and not in like a bad way in a very intense way you're going to start hearing things you're going to be like whoa wow okay that's new um and i feel like it's because you're starting to open your heart chakra or it's because you're starting to ground yourself and the more grounded you are, the more you're going to connect with your heart chakra. And then the more you're connected to spirit. And let's see what the crow represents here as well. Let's see what else they want to say about the crow. There's probably an extra message in here as well. So let's see. Do, do, do. Okay, bear with me, guys. One second. Spirituality, strong, creative, watchful. Okay, so it's saying to be present. It's saying that to those with crow tendencies must balance their life with healthy diet, joyful friends and regular self-study. So healthy diet is going to be really good for you as well this month. Um, so when in balance, psychic, strong, clear. When out of balance, ungrounded, hypersensitive, ungrounded. So to bring into balance daily meditation practice. Well, that is very accurate, isn't it? Because we literally just said about grounding yourself and grounding is to do with meditation, is that element of being very present in the moment. So let's put you there. All right, so let's get some tarot. Let's see what you guys need to know this month around your love life. Let's see what wants to come in. Okie dokie. All right, so love life. 
Oh yes, this is great. We have the well. The well is very, very abundant. It's artistic. It's just feeling really full and happy. Okay, eight of cups. So these two are put, having their back on each other. So you may be having a little bit of an ego fight within your mind and kind of be like, I'm on the path. I'm not on the path. I'm on the path. I'm not on the path. But you are always on the path, guys. You are always going there, okay? So don't worry. Knight of Wands, beautiful. So there's definitely someone coming in for you guys. This person, they I'm hearing they're quite far away, but I think it's because you're not meant to know who they are. So it's it's kind of like a mystery that will be soon that will soon be solved. That's what I'm hearing. So within this energy, it's showing me that you're really looking at a situation and you're analysing it. And remember not to overanalyze, guys. That's what I'm hearing. Remember not to overanalyze because it can really affect how you see a situation when actually sometimes it's not always that bad. Okay. So this is showing me that don't put your back, don't turn your back away from your creativity because that's really going to help you expand this month and the six of swords is showing me that you are riding the waves and you are releasing a lot of the old and you're journeying towards the new and you guys could be meeting a fire sign I really feel that for you guys so this could be somebody you already know so if you have someone in mind this could be them uh Sagittarius Leo rising hearing leo rising aries sun and leo moon or leo sun and this is going to be somebody who really serves you passionately and creatively so you could meet this person as a friend at work and then they end up being a relationship wow that took a while to get that out <laughs> and then we have the moon which is like really intense emotional change and then we have the hierophant so the moon is showing me that you guys might be in your feels when you meet this person. You might be a bit overwhelmed, but it's going to be really great. And the Hierophant is showing me that this guy is very sensible. So you're going to be looking at this situation very sensibly thinking, is this the right person? For those of you in relationships, I do see you guys might be taking a, like a break from your partner for a little bit longer than normal. But I feel like it's because you want to just be creative, be in your own energy. Or you could be starting something creative with your partner as well. Okay. So there is definitely somebody coming in. I'm not feeling fully in this month. So it might be a little bit later on. I feel in like November time will be good for you guys instead. But I, it doesn't mean that this person isn't coming in. So because it's going to be a general energy, guys. It depends how long it takes for this emotion to shift. But it's all in divine timing, guys. So it's meant to happen when it's meant to happen. But for those of you who are impatient, <laughs> they're saying, just wait and see. This person's going to be amazing for you if you're single, all right? All right, so we have value. Money again. You guys are really money focused in September, which is really beautiful. So we have value. So this is all about uh, the second house. So money, work, income, daily routines, your job, your work ethic, all of those things. So it could be a really massive change in your work life could really affect your love life so if you guys you might be working a bit too much or not working enough and that could be shifting your love life too especially if you're in a, already in a relationship okay do we want these three okay let me pull some more i'm gonna take this one okay beautiful very sensual energy i love that so your drive is coming back your sensual drive is coming back but this is all about creativity this is you pushing forward and meeting your targets so you might have felt a little bit um i'm hearing lackluster so literally lacking lust <laughs> that's what they're telling me i don't know if that's what that means but that's what they're telling me so all right so i'm going to take these four i'm going to see what's underneath okay so we have capricorn and Capricorn is all about money, money. So massive amount of money changes and citrine is actually so good for manifesting money. So if you guys need citrine in your life, go get some. <laughs> um, I also have a crystal shop. So if you'd like to re request any crystals or a crystal bracelet or anything like that, just go to my shop down below and I'll have that down there, okay? So we have lunar eclipse. That could be a really good um, time frame for you in terms of when things are going to happen. So if there's not a lunar eclipse this month, it will be in the future. But this is really good timing for you. I feel like your sensual energy is going to be very high. We then have journeys. I absolutely love that. So journeys is all about you finding something that you never thought you would. And I feel like with journeys, this is the ninth house. So this is about um, travel. This is about finding something that is 
very, very strong and just feeling like you can really, I'm hearing abandoning things that no longer serve you and just really journeying towards your own path, like forging your own path. Also, you guys might start a new career this, this month, like completely, completely start a brand new career within something and it could just take off. Okay, and then we have partners. So obviously seventh house is relationship and that is the partners. So I love that. Last card is we have Terra, which is the earth which is obviously the planet we live on. <laughs> um, it says, not traditionally included in astrology as it is the center of one's birth chart. All astrological calculations are done from the perspective of Earth. We include this card for depictive purposes. Feel free to remove this card from reading. I really love this card. I really, really love her. I feel like she goes really well with Mars because she's very grounding and she's all about abundance, I feel. So I feel like for this card, it really shows me that you guys are getting your earthly abundance. So if you've been waiting for something for a long time and it's something physical, manifestation, boom, here it is. I do feel like emotionally you guys are really working on those though. It could be quite a deep month for you, but I feel like it's gonna be a very successful month in terms of your career and money, okay? So thank you so much for watching. If you'd like a private reading, all information is down below with my crystal shop down there as well. If you'd like to subscribe, if you haven't already, please feel free, like and comment. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for being here and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number three. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So let's see what's coming in for you in your love life within September. So we have Malachi, it's time to transform. Wow. So I think I think it was group number one that got transformation. Pretty sure, yeah. So you guys are also going through a massive transformation. Massive amount of earthly energy. So you guys are actually transforming your physical body as well. It could be exercise, it could be through spirituality. You could literally be transforming yourselves through spirituality, that's what I'm hearing. Becoming more of a light body. And the transformation is so intense for you guys. Oh my God, this feels like I have so much on my mind and I don't know what to do with it. It just feels like foggy headed, but also really busy headed. So for you guys, September is gonna be a gigantic transformation. So it could be you're going through transformation or you've already gone through transformation and that's what you are manifesting. And Malachi is also to do with the heart chakra. So this is gonna help you transform your heart. It's gonna help you bring out your heart energy. And it's really gonna help things to just come out and just, just be drawn out, okay? So first card out we have is mirror. Who or what is triggering you? And this is a really big card. Every time this card comes out is always like hits me in the chest. It's like, oh, okay, what is triggering me? You know, because triggers are very intense. Like people can get triggered in many different ways and in and it can affect you in many different ways. It can be in any type of chakra, a type of chakra, it can be any chakra, it can be any like physical form, you know, like in a pain, it can be in an emotional pain, it can be various different things. So this card is showing me that there could be something that triggers you to transform, okay? It could be literally anything. It could be a change in environment, it could be a change with a particular person, it could be just something like that. It feels like it, it's not so much the trigger, it's how you're dealing with it that's the main thing. Because I feel like the trigger really isn't that bad. It's actually, what are you gonna do about it? You know, they're <laughs> saying like the universe is like, what are you gonna do about it? Um, it's very emotional, this one. I feel like, yeah, I feel like it's very emotional. And I'm hearing Yoda, like I'm seeing Yoda in my head and he's, he's like, hmm. <laughs> I feel like it's, the universe is Yoda. That's what they're, <laughs> that's literally what they're showing me because I feel like Yoda's really wise and I haven't seen Star Wars, so I'm not entirely sure. It's, it, hopefully it is Star Wars. But I feel like this is just major, like, this is just major shifts, okay? Major, major shifts for you guys. And it could be something that triggers you to, to transform, but I feel like the transformation is going to be so... It's so easy, not the transformation is going to be as easy as such, but it's kind of like this is where the good stuff starts to come in. Really, really good, okay? All right, so we have lots of cards here. So we have surrender, the crane, let go of limiting beliefs, be as expansive in your thoughts as your soul is. I love that so much. And then we have, oh, and then we have peacock, self-love, time to celebrate you and all your, all your magnificent light. I'm going to put these down here. 
And then we also have the sloth, digital detox, recalibrate, reset, recharge. So first of all, the crane. This is telling you that things are shifting naturally. Just let them flow. Let them flow in the month of September. Things might feel like a bit or, or, or like jagged and a bit confusing, but your soul knows exactly what you want. If you want to do something, just bring and go and do it, you know? And obviously if it involves money and things like that and you are restricted with money, take it one step at a time and do things slowly. And I feel like there could be, oh, this is an interesting message. There could be somebody that comes in your life that really triggers you in a freaking, I'm really trying not to swear within, freaking good way. Like if you're single, September is going to manifest a really nice person okay that's what I'm feeling and you are no longer listening to your ego you're like do you know what just gonna let go and this is you coming into self-love and you are manifesting this person because self-love is so prominent here and if this is to do with a partnership if you are in a partnership I feel like you guys are really learning to just be yourself and not have to just constantly listen to your partner if they're being negative or if they're saying things you don't agree with, it's just really stepping in your power and setting boundaries. That is self-love. For me, when I was first working on my self-love journey, I was, <clears throat> excuse me, a bit confused about my self-love because I was kind of like, okay, but how do you love yourself if you are yourself? And all it is, is boundaries, patience, and just really like looking deeply into things and looking deeply at yourself and thinking, is that right? How am I reacting? That is, that is self-love. It's like being very conscious of your actions. And then we also have digital detox. So we have recalibrate, reset, recharge. So this can also be just being very kind to your body and just being really patient. And if you need to just take a detox from social media, like deleting the app, because when you delete the app, you're not deleting your account. So that's sometimes something that I do. It feels very good, turning your phone off, uh, going for a walk without your phone. All those things can make a really big difference. And sloths are really slow. I love sloths. They're one of my favorite animals. Sloths are really slow and they're chilling. They just chill, which is why I love them because they're so freaking cute. Um, this guy is just chilling. And these two are really, they just all express themselves. Like animals express themselves naturally. They don't think, oh, can I poop on this person's lawn? You know, being a dog, not sloth. I don't think that'd be, that'd be a bit weird. <laughs> being a dog, like, can I poop on this person's lawn? They just do it, you know? <laughs> they just do whatever is instinctual to them. So just being very natural in your approach and obviously being conscious, but being very natural with it. And the cranes are about flying free. The peacock is really just about expression and just, if you wanna wear bright colors, frigging wear them. If you wanna do on certain makeup, wear them. You know, like just frigging do whatever feels right for you. And then you have the sloth, which is like, if you need to rest, just reset, reset, reset. Like take yourself back. If you need to take a day off work and you can do that, you know, just, or if you need to change up your environment in terms of where you work, Maybe work in a different place in your house or put a different plant there or maybe put like a like a picture on the wall that like triggers like a certain emotion because you can have like sacred geometry and put it around your house and it can trigger like a certain emotion within you. And sacred geometry is very, very beautiful. It's just so, it's so powerful. Okay, so, wow. <laughs> this challenge will make you stronger. You will get through to the other side. Look for the gift in this situation. So as you can see, this is a very dark unicorn but I never feel I mean I'm a Scorpio so probably that's probably why probably helps but I never see anything dark like this as anything bad because there's definitely something you guys are getting triggered by let's see what else the other card is right so this trigger trigger this trigger is bringing you towards your light okay this is bringing you towards where your happiness is what makes you feel happy and the the strength card is showing me here that you guys are really struggling to get, some of you guys are really struggling to get through this, Other you, others of you it's going to be a little bit hard, a little bit weird, but it's going to feel really freaking good, okay, when you get to the other side. So there's definitely something that's triggering you, this is definitely to do with relationships, and I know this is a love life reading so obviously, but this is definitely to do with the relationship I feel, it could be family, work it could be friends it could be literally anything i feel like it's definitely like a massive gigantic ball of triggers that are coming from this one person but it could be somebody from the past and you could randomly think about them and think why am i thinking about them but it kind of just 
the reason why you're feeling triggered by this situation is because it's just like the tiniest little bit that you need to let go of, okay? Could be a really big letting go, could be a small letting go. It's gonna vary for every one of you, okay? So let's see what the firefly represents and let's see what he's coming out as. Okay, so inspired and fantastic yet fleeting. So it says the firefly contains a light of a thousand stars. It's pure, radiant and illuminating. This firefly is leading the way as well. I feel like this is the darkness, this is the light and it's like, phew, let's like get her out of there. Um, this high frequency change, sorry, this high frequency charge cannot be sustained for long. Therefore, the firefly indicates a moment of inspiration or awakening or awakening <laughs> that quickly fades if we do not catch it. There is firefly energy behind every poem, song and invention. Our job is to be ready to harness this creative spirit when it graces our path. What can you do to support this precious and elusive light? So we have when in balance, right creates brainstorms, when out of balance, burnt out, feels dull. To bring into balance, write a poem or draw. So for some of you guys, you could feel very burnt out. You could feel very much like the darkness that's around this card. Um, but then you start to feel much more creative after releasing this. And for you guys, it's really important for creation. Creativity is also sexuality as well. So you could be feeling very sensually charged this month as well. You could be meeting somebody who creates that charge, if you know what I'm saying. So let's move these cards over here. Can you guys see those? Yeah, yeah, you can actually. Let's move them out of shot so I can bring in the tarot. So let's move those guys out. Okie dokie. So let's get some tarot. Okay, so group number three. What do they need to know about their love life? Oops. Okay, so we have the nine of pentacles. I love her. She is in her element I'm hearing follow in their footsteps why are they following in whose footsteps just find someone to lead you and let them lead you so this can also be in an object as well so oh here he is I knew there was somebody here I could feel them oh and I'm getting really hot I'm just going to use this card to fan myself <laughs> okay so He's pretty, I like him. Um, what was the other thing I was gonna say? So it feels like you guys are letting, let your, let your intuition follow, let your intuition guide you. Let, if there's somebody in your life and you feel like you need to get guidance, ask them for guidance, ask your friends for guidance, all that, all that jazz. So, okay, let's get a couple more cards. Do we want this card? I'm not really feeling like I need this card, no. Let's bring out another card, I wasn't feeling that one. Okay. Perfect. Speaking your truth. Wow, two pages. I love that. That never happens. Okay, so we definitely needed the Seven of Cups. Because I shuffled and, and he came out again. So they were like, no, Vicky, not the right time. After the pages and then, then come in. Justice, Wheel of Fortune. And then let's get one more. Perfect, perfect card to end it. Four of Wands, so. Okay, underneath we have the Nine of Wands. So you guys could be feeling really stuck right now. I feel like this is the energy right now. So whether you're in September watching this or not, I feel like you're feeling a little bit stuck. Things are gonna shift for you guys, okay? Because you're putting in the work. You're putting in the work energetically, emotionally, physically, wherever the work is. If you are doing your best, that is enough, okay? If you're doing your best, that is enough. And the Ten of Pentacles is showing me that you are going to reap the rewards of what you're giving out. And you're going to manifest someone who really, really helps you to feel your heart again, which is so cute. Um, and I'm hearing the song To Love Again. And this song is from a Hilary Duff movie. I don't know if you, ever, if you guys have ever seen, uh, what's this film called? Some of you guys might know what it's called. Um, the Perfect Man, I feel like it's called that, that film. This is the perfect man, okay? This is your perfect man. And if you are obviously not attracted to men, your perfect woman or wh whoever you're attracted to, your perfect person, okay? This person is gonna be a breath of fresh air. And the Seven of Cups is you're doubting. You're doubting if this is the right person. You're thinking, is this the right person? Even when it's like so fresh and new, we had the Page of Wands, we had the Page of Cups. So feeling like ultimate happiness is there, but you're still debating on it. So 
You know, justice, the wheel of fortune, and the four of wands is showing me that the anxieties are going to go. So you could be manifesting a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. I'm sensing Aries. I'm getting Taurus, Aquarius. Uh, is there any other ones? Pisces. What else? Is that it? That's it. And I'm getting the letter S as well. Um, I'm hearing sacral chakra, uh, solar plexus, all that jazz as well. So really bringing, they're really bringing in that strong, fiery, thick energy and my ear is ringing. We love that. Okay, so let's see what else wants to come through. Give me some information on this partnership that's coming in. If you guys are in, already in a relationship, I see you guys really learn to work on your communication in the relationship and you'll learn to just take it slowly and not rush things. And if you want to have marriage or anything that's like higher in this in the relationship you're already in, um, I feel like you guys have just learned to have patience with your partner and know it will happen when it's meant to happen, you know. There we go. We have Pisces. I love that. So that is really beautiful. So definitely a lot of water energy there. Okay, we have Venus. So that's obviously about love. So this person could have Pisces Venus. You could have Pisces Venus. Uh, you could be near the water this month. And I'm look, look out for birds, like significant birds or significant animals that redraw your attention. And you're thinking, why am I looking at this ra random bird? But they're redrawing really your attention. So you can meet this person through your work life and they add value to your life. This is the card of value. This is the second house. Let's see if I can focus that. The second house. So this is all to do with your finances. This is the money, work, income, daily routines, material possessions, habits, your work ethic, all that jazz. Okay. So this person's going to add value to your life as well. I'm hearing value to your house. You know, when people say add value to your house in some way. Um, I've been watching a lot of house programs, guys. <laughs> so, but I do feel like you guys, some of you guys could be moving house. And the value of your house has is, is changed. It's possibly you moved in there or something. Wow. Okay, so we have first quarter and we have full moon. So they've got a significant meaning. Let's ask the universe to see what they say. So this is to do when you first meet them. This is how you'll feel when you meet them. So... Most likely these can be timings, first moon and full moon. Your manifestation will physically manifest around the full moon, I feel. So full moons are about harvest endeavours, receiving the gifts of past intentions. Begin to look forward, uh, not out. And also the first quarter is taking action, making moves and pushing through any obstacles. That Yeah, exactly. So it's kind of like, this is where you're going. This is the end outcome. Is there something on this card? No, it's just a little scratch. Um, yeah, this is where you're going. This, sorry, this is where you're going. This is where you are finally attaining that. And you guys are going for a massive transformation. All three groups have got transformation. So there is some massive transformative energy going on. You could be manifesting a Scorpio as well. Um, you could be a Scorpio. Just really intense energy. And I feel like this this is going to completely trans your, transform your life. And I feel like this is just really, really beautiful, okay? And the fact that we had transformation, exactly. They said, look at the crystal card and I forgot that we had transform on here. So I really love that. So I wanna pull just a, a couple more astro cards and just see what else wants to come through. Let's see what else we have here. Oops. Okay, don't want those. We have waning crescent. We have Aquarius, the moon, and we also have Libra. So massive amount of balance. You guys are getting what you give out in relationships and your relationships are going to be very balanced. You could be manifesting a Libra or Aquarius again, as I said. Your, your emotions are going to be really heightened and it's going to feel really great. And the moon is also got number 11 or 2 on there as well. So that could be like a significant number for you guys. So the waning crescent represents surrender, a time for recuperation and rest. So this person is going to make you feel like you can rest <laughs> because, or you might have to rest when you're around this person because it's going to feel so intense. You're going to be like, oh my God, I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> okay. So thank you so much for watching guys. If you would like a private reading, all my information is down below. And if you would like to look at my crystal shop, that's also down below. Please like and subscribe. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for being here. I love you guys. I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number four. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see your love life within uh, the month of September. So 
aquamarine go with the freaking flow <laughs> all right um let's bring my lighting down a little bit because it looks oh no it's not too bad i thought it was too light all right so aquamarine go with the flow so this is obviously saying go with the flow it's saying to just take things as they come and if everything feels a bit overwhelming make sure to rest and to recuperate and if you're feeling like you need to just rest and just take time out don't feel guilty about it just just do it and and really be in that energy and aquamarine is a really good crystal for um love life abundance and also the throat chakra aquamarine really opens your throat chakra so if you need to talk about something don't be scared to talk about it kind of reminds me of aquarius as well saying aquamarine kind of reminds me of aquarius so you could be an aquarius all right so deep replenishment retreat rest be held that is exactly what i said <laughs> i love that so this is all about the aquamarine energy it's really going with the flow and if you need to take time to to rest just do it because you obviously need it and really just letting go of the past and if there's something holding you back then just really try and take your mind off it and don't listen to anybody if they have ideas you know and, and you don't like those ideas just go with your own energy and if you need to take time out and you need to just rest and do that and that can be in many different forms that can be meditation that can be in any type of form in terms of your love life as well if you need to take a time away from your partner definitely do that and for those of you who are single know that you are a precious gem but sometimes we do need to take a rest we can't do things all the time you know you're more productive and your work is much more greater and much more attained when we rest as well so giving yourself the permission to do that so we have protection Consider who you're allowed to take your energy and who you give it away to freely. So this is great. So for you guys, this is definitely about this energy here, which is deep replenishment. So this along with the deep, uh, deep replenishment is protection. So protecting yourself from other people who no longer serve you. We had two to two on the clock. So that could be a really big message for you guys. Um, it's about duality. It's about balance. So for you guys learning to protect your energy. And if there's somebody who is really around you and they are sucking the life out of you just try to be very con con conscious of when you're with them and very cautious of when you're with them and knowing is this the right energy for me and I feel like if you feel somebody around you who's just not good for you but they're not there physically just say I release any energy that's no longer mine now thank you or I or let this energy be taken away from me thank you <clears throat> and basically just affirm the energy that any energy that isn't yours be taken away from you because I feel like sometimes we can forget that we're holding on to other people's stuff especially if we're very sensitive and the protection card I feel like black onyx would be good for you guys protection crystals are so so helpful especially if you're sensitive like really especially if you're sensitive and it I love the fact that it says consider who you allow to take your energy because it's kind of like you do have an option to keep this in your life but is it serving you as well so it could be a certain person or a certain energy that you're really learning, learning to let go of and you really learn to just release that okay and not be in that old energy anymore cute so you have compassion be gentle with yourself forgiveness will set you free see the light in yourself and others so for you guys this group is more of the softer kind of take care of yourself lighter energy group and this feels very interesting so let's see what animal card you got as well oh my god i love that so it's very similar to the unicorn here so you guys have got the horse so this card is showing me that you guys are getting freedom okay you guys are in the resting period because you guys are your your energy is being sorted out behind the scenes okay your emotions are being sorted out behind the scenes because a lot of the time we can't actually see a lot of the stuff that's going on like emotionally especially so the compassion that we give to ourselves is so 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 important because it helps that energy to shift and with the forgiveness it's like forgive the past forgive that person who really hurt you and knowing that you don't have to forgive them at when okay words <laughs> forgive them when it's right for you like take your time you don't have to do it all in one go you don't even have to do it ever it's a complete choice but if you do feel the need to forgive somebody just do that and if you feel like that's the right thing to do then definitely do that and I love the fact that forgiveness will set you free and the horse is literally about freedom so you guys are learning to not be withheld by somebody this feels very intense this feels very emotional i love this this feels like yeah i don't i don't freaking need you anymore like i am my own person 
Why do I need somebody who's not going to respect me? Who's not going to respect my boundaries? Who's not going to treat me well? And also, if this is a this is a part, okay, words again. If this is a part of you, and you are releasing it, I feel like you're saying that to yourself as well, and forgiving yourself for what you did in the past, or forgiving yourself for any way that you reacted that possibly wasn't in your best interest. You know, so it's being really really aware of that. And the horse is all about earth and the earth energy. So getting grounded and really being in that own in your own energy, okay? So I'm having a look at the horse in the book here. So bear with me a sec. So a horse is about momentum, freedom, expansive energy and force. So I'm going to read the, the description because I feel like it's really important for you guys. So the horse represents the most masterful form of earth energy within the deck. It provides us with momentum so reliable, so supportive that you can ride on its back toward any goal, no matter how difficult the terrain. A horse personality is fully awakened, fully alive and cannot be defeated. I love that. That is so so intense. I love it. The horse's freedom becomes available to us when we hone in and collect our energy through daily practice. Yes, queen, go with the flow. And then we have physical stamina, exercise and mental focus. Meditation are the secret weapons behind the horse's legacy. So within September, you guys have really learned to break away from what no longer serves you. And exercise and meditation are going to really serve you. So meditation doesn't have to be sitting down, chanting, doing the classic, you know, oming. It can literally be sitting, drawing, um staring at a wall it can literally be anything that you feel relaxes you staring at a candle my first meditation experience was just staring at a candle and i love doing that i really love doing that it feels very intimate and cozy so if that feels good for you then definitely definitely do that okay so that is your oracle cards let's have a look at your tarot and let's see what wants to come through for you within the month of september okay All right, so you're really looking at things deeply now. I feel like you have... Okay, some of you didn't see this coming, but this is going to bring you to the sun, which is beautiful. Feeling much more free, much more expansive, and that you can actually get where you want to go, and you don't feel restricted. Queen of Cups. Yes, queen. Yes, queen. Literally, yes, queen. Um, she is... I'm hearing she is no longer re receiving negative energy because the Queen of Cups can't be the Queen of Cups if she's listening to other people, other people's negative vibe. So you guys, this is taking quite a lot of, it's going to take quite a lot of strength to get through this, but it's not, for some of you guys, it's actually not that difficult. It's just the way you handle it. Okay. And some of you guys, it could, it could take a little bit of mental preparation or a little bit of time, but that's okay. Let's see what else we have other cards we have okay so we have the world we have the knight of cups and let's see nine of swords so if you guys it could be a water sign that's really affecting your energy as well but i do feel like you guys are manifesting a water sign if you are single as well and then we have the two of wands here so if you guys you are learning to break away from relationships that no longer serve you and knowing that you can manifest the relationship that you really want that will give you a lot of freedom and the the world card is showing me that there's like a massive new you that's coming in and that's how this new person is being manifested because you are transforming so if you're single and you're wanting a person this is someone new you may be a little bit skeptical about them at first you may be a bit like oh i don't know if they're the right person but i feel like you are going to be very happy with them when they do come in just first of all you're going to feel a little bit kind of uneasy because you're thinking mm, i don't know if this is going to affect my life too much or is this going to affect my life negatively i don't feel like it's going to affect your life negatively guys i feel like you may be basing it too much on the past so when this person comes in don't base it too much on the past guys just really focus on yourself okay so let's see what else wants to come through i love the queen of cups though i love how we go from the eight of cups to the sun to the queen of cups because this is just really really positive Okay, really, really positive. Some of you guys I'm actually hearing, I just heard you're changing your accent. So I don't know if you guys are learning a new language this month. That's what I heard. Okay, beautiful. So we have society. This is the 11th house. And 11th house is all about groups. It's the, I'm pretty sure it's Aquarius ruled. And I feel like this is definitely coming into your own energy and really being generous with your energy and whatever really suits you, your 
you're doing that and you're also manifesting new people coming into your life as well but you could just be having a really good time in the month of September and going out for some drinks or going out to the bar or something if you're able to and um, yeah just really bring in that gorgeous energy and then we have Uranus so you guys have gone deep or are going deep into your um, energy and this is gonna bring a new you we have last quarter so this could literally be the last quarter of the stress that you're going through okay especially through your love life and your um like your relationships and things like that okay so we have mars so massive intense energy here things are going to be shifting and i'm pretty sure mars in aries goes re mars goes retrograde is it i'm not entirely sure but I heard that. So I feel like something to do with Mars is happening in this month. And I feel like it's really going to bring in a lot of intensity. But it's going to draw out everything that no longer serves you. That isn't, un that isn't stable. I feel like Mars is quite a stable energy. It feels it's very like strong and, and positive. So I feel like there's a lot of that going on. Also the last quarter moon could be a really big sign for you in terms of timing. So just bear that in mind. Okay. So let's see else wants to come through okay so we have journeys so you guys could be meeting somebody on a journey you could i feel like for a lot of you guys you could be meeting like a sagittarius or somebody who's who loves to travel um and also we have secrets so you guys this is a 12th house so you're learning to really release all that old energy and we have pisces as well so you could be releasing energy with the pisces you could also be um just releasing anything that is just old and outdated and you're learning to just start a new cycle that's just that's just coming out for you guys and you're feeling like you can really express yourself and I feel like you're really talking to a lot of people and people you may not have spoken to before or ever and you'll really learn to just celebrate life more and you could be meeting somebody at like a pub or a bar or something like that so thank you so much for watching guys if you like this reading don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe and if you'd like a private reading all my information is down below and thank you so much for being here I love you guys and I'll speak to you soon Bye.